What's going on YouTube? It's the Survivalist 247 and today we're back here in American Truck Simulator and today we are taking a look at, oh no, a private mod because I want to talk to you guys about something. Um, but anyway guys, today we are running a Peterbilt 386 which is private by the way. Don't even start on the comments. I really want to, I'm going to address that. Um, and of course, the Beal bullet trailer, the 1992 Beal bullet, with the Super Singles update from Trayscapes Modding, awesome, awesome trailer, love this trailer, you guys have seen it on my channel before, it is beautiful, awesome, awesome stainless steel chrome trailer, whatever you want to call it, pretty sure it's stainless steel, but it, it's very, very, very beautiful, um, you know, high detail truck uh, trailer, Jesus Christ, no, we got the bullet really really awesome looking trailer um but today guys we are hauling sand 39,000 pounds we have a c15 450 horse with an 18 speed i'm not sure what gearing is in it but that's all right um i think this is a, a very very well put together truck uh this is the peterbilt 386 by uh robert uh rob Majeski, whatever you want to call him uh Sibrius. awesome awesome guy known Rob for a while now, he's a very stand-up guy, and uh, he's, he's he's a good modder, um, but this truck is private, and I don't know if it'll ever be released if you're not within a set group, but uh, anyway, uh, he I asked him if I could do a video with it, and he's like, sure, and I decided, wow, you know what, since I want to do a video with a private mod, um, let's let's have a talk, so anyway, let's get started, we're going to Truckee today, um, we're just here in Carlsbad, a little down the road. I'm sorry, a 13 speed, not an 18 speed, if I said an 18 speed. I think I said a 13 speed, I'm not sure. Slow down. See if I can make my way out of here. There we go. Some of you guys are going to hound on me for uh, going out the inn. Oh well. But anyway guys, let's, uh, let's have a little talk. So uh, I've noticed an increasingly amount of comments on my videos about people, um, well, for the lack of thing, being haters because they don't have the mods that I have. I'm sorry that you guys feel that you need to have all the mods that I have, and I hope this doesn't make me come off as an asshole, but oh, I'm, I'm not saying it's everyone that watches my videos because it's definitely not. I appreciate and, and love every single one of you guys who's always been respectful, who leaves nice comments and everything. I think, I think you guys are like some of the best YouTube community out there. You guys give so much positive feedback, it's great, and I love it. But there's the few people who just can't stand not having the mods that I have. And I don't do a lot of private mods, I try not to do too many. And I've done an increasing amount recently, but it's not the point to be like, oh yeah, here you go, I'm showing off, you don't have this, but I do. And that's, that's how it feels like you guys are doing it. What you guys are saying is, oh, you should give us this because you're a YouTuber. And, and we can't get this kind of stuff, and I feel, and it, it, it makes me seem like some of these people feel entitled that they need to have all of this cool stuff without putting in any of the work to gain respect and trust from the people who make these mods. That's what I do. I build the respect. I talk to the people. I, I befriend modders. I talk to people. You know, I get to know them. I don't flat out ask modders, hey, can I have a private mod? I have never done that. You can straight up ask any, any modder on the community that knows me. I've never asked for a private mod, like, oh hey, I'll see you have this, can I have that trailer? Oh, can I have that truck? I build respect and gain trust with the modder in the community in an attempt to get them, not, not even in an attempt to get them, but I do it to get to know them, and as a result, I have gotten private mods. I have been accepted into private groups that, you know, based on trust and things like that. And you know, it's it's ridiculous that I see you guys blaming me 
oh, this is clickbait. Oh, screw you, dude. We can't have this. Why do you get it? I think it's ridiculous that people show this kind of... I don't know. Let me turn down my game volume. It's freaking crazy. And I appreciate every single one of you who's always been supportive of me and doesn't bug me about that kind of things. And I, I really, it's kind of sad how many comments I've gotten recently because they spiked up a lot. And I get that it, when, when your channel, when, when your base group grow, grows, your, um, your viewing audience grows, you're going to run into some haters. But, you know, I really would like to try to keep that kind of stuff away from my videos. I, I try to be true. And I know it's not going to be able to be kept away completely, but I would like it, I would like for us to try and be like that. I really hope you guys, um, I really hope most of you guys don't feel like some of these people do. Uh, I really don't try to be an asshole about this kind of thing. I really don't show you guys these private mods and rub it in your face like, oh, you can't have this. That's not what my goal is. I don't want you guys to feel like that. Now, if you guys do want to have private mods, or you want a mod made for you and things like that, you can always go to these people and, you know, befriend them and, you know, contribute to the community instead of complaining that you don't have the mods that other people have. That doesn't get you anywhere. It just makes you look like a whiny asshole. And I'm sorry for being blunt, but it really just does. Um, and this is kind of a rant video, and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. It's not my goal. Unless, here you are, of course, going to be one of the people that goes down to the comment sections of this video after this rant and complains that you don't have this truck. Now, this is a private truck, um, like I said, by Rob. Um, basically, he's just kind of fed up with all the, uh, the complainers as well, and all the thieves in this community. And I don't, I'm not sure if this truck will ever go public to the mass majority of people. So, we'll see on that. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Otherwise, this is a great, great truck. And like I said, it's a work in progress, so like the stacks go nowhere. Uh, it looks good, though. 36-inch uh, bunk on here. Really, really nice looking. Um, I do hope that he does release it to the public in, in the end. But, you know, I understand why he, he, doesn't, he made the post that he did about, oh, yeah, this is going to be a private project because, you know, this is what you guys could be having, but there's too many thieves and assholes out there right now to release this because they just steal parts off of it and things like that. That's the kind of shit that I hate from this community, and that's the kind of shit I wish we could get rid of, but we can't. Um, you know, there, it's always going to be like this probably, but, you know, we can try to root out the assholes. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are doing well. You know, uh, we've got the awesome Super Singles update on this Beal. I think this trailer looks amazing with Super Singles. Oh, I am going up on the curb. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, my uh, head tracking is being weird. Getting on the highway. You get your motor running. <laughs> no. Um, you know, great, great trailer. Uh, Trace Gapes modding Zetor. Zetor released this quite a while back. Uh, I've done videos with it. It's really a great trailer. If you guys haven't checked out the trailer, the trailer will be in the description because I try to add as many links as I can into my videos. Some of you guys have been complaining a lot, oh, um, this was public once, where's the link for it? Uh, sometimes things are just so old that I can't find the links to them, and I, I really would appreciate if you guys would tone it down, because I explain that in the videos. I explain, you know, if I can find the link to this truck, I would gladly share it with you guys. I'm not sure if I can find it, but because I don't feel, and yeah, I could, I could make a link, and I could give you guys a link that I created, but that's not right, man. You don't do that. That's somebody else's work. You don't... Because, you know, download sites, I can make money off that. If you're like, oh, this is a really popular truck, but it's off the mod sites, I'll make a download link. People can make money off downloads. And I don't want to be the guy that's like... I'm, I'm not going to make a download link for somebody else's work that's in 
my eyes stealing the work. I think it's bullshit, and I will not do it. So even if you guys ask me to, I'm sorry. I cannot do that for you. Jesus Christ. Uh, Freaking slow traffic much? Jesus. So I'm sorry, but I, I, I refuse to share private mods to people who feel they're entitled to them. It's dumb. If, like I said, if you guys want to, to be able to get private mods, build a relationship with the modders, make a commitment and a, contrib and a contribution to this community, and Jesus Christ, I hit a car, we're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> Didn't see him. Didn't think there was anybody there. You know, this is really a great truck, though. Um, you know, it's... The 386 is one of my favorite uh, aerodynamic trucks. It looks really, really good. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, man? Come on. Oh, nope, wrong thing. You know, it's uh, it's built off the stock 389 cab. It's got a 386 hood. I think it's really a good looking truck. Uh, you can customize the shit out of these things. You can slam them and do everything. They look really cool, in my opinion. Um, I, I think it's an opinion shared by a lot of people because there's a lot of custom 386s out there. It's it's a really, really awesome truck to to kind of like, well, pimp out if you're a trucker. It's, it's a cool truck to pimp. <laughs> uh, I really like it, and I really like what Rob is doing with it so far. Um, I like that it doesn't have the arrow skirts yet. It's, it's going to have them, but uh, I like that he's going to have the option without the arrow skirts and everything. Uh, really, really a great looking truck in real life and uh, in the game. You know, it's he's he always does really high quality stuff. Uh, and like I said, even as it is a work in project, I mean, it it's it's still pretty damn complete as a work in project. Uh, like I said, a few little things like the stacks being not connected to anything yet and things like that. But that's uh, minor details. I'm not sure how far we have till Trucky. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, 88 miles. Further than I thought. That's all right. There we go. Highway, expressway, ramps, whatever. Well, here we go. The loop to loop. Alrighty, let's go. You know, not much, uh, not much more to talk about in this video, guys. I just, I felt like I had to get that kind of thing out. You know, I want to be honest with you guys. I think it's ridiculous. Um, I know it's still gonna happen, and I'm, I'm not gonna bother with it anymore. But I just wanted to get it out there for those of you who are, you know, committed to the channel, who are loyal fans. I really appreciate you guys, and I want you guys to ignore the assholes who decide that they're entitled to everything that everyone owns. Um, you know, they're just, they're just haters. They want something, they can't get it, so they're gonna complain about it. And I know this video is, oh wow, Survivalist is a total fucking dickhead. Yeah, well, I, I am sometimes. But you know what? I'm I'm a dickhead to the right people, not to the to the to the wrong kind of people, which is the right people to be a dickhead to. Um, Jesus Christ, we're just a dick. I'm just a dick. There you go. Saying dickhead makes everything weirder. Uh, you know, I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, if it gets to be past you know 18 or 19 minutes, uh, I'll just have to end it and cut apart some pieces, and Zeus it back together. But uh, I don't want this video to get too long. Here we go. 
life in the past lane, except this isn't even the passing lane. There we go. Alrighty. Rolling down the highway, guys. So hopefully you guys are having a great Memorial Day weekend. I certainly am. It's been great. You know, just got out of school, having a hell of a time. Uh, getting, doing so many more videos now. Um, you know, I've got a couple recorded, uh, and I'm working on one. Uh, one's actually uploading right now. Dovetail video, you guys will see that before you see this. Uh, awesome video. Probably one of my best works yet, and I, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that one. Or, or actually, at this point, enjoyed. Uh, as it is already out when this video will be up. But yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll see what else we can get into here soon. Uh, I've got an old T800 mod that I want to pull back out that uh, still seems to work on this version of ATS that I want to want to pull back out and give you guys a little uh, little update on because I might uh, I might throw some new sounds in there and fix some stuff and see if I can you know spruce it up. Spruce the Zeus. Zeus the Spruce. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Yeah, shut up. I get it. You yeah, guys, I think we'll end the video here at the way station. So, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you guys liked this video, please leave a like and tell me in the comments if you did not. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of haters saying, I didn't like the video, man. What the fuck is your problem? Jesus, dude. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of that. But you know what? If you guys are true to the community and my channel, you know, leave a nice comment. Say what's up. What are you doing? How's your Memorial Day weekend going? I'd really like to know. But uh, anyway, guys, we'll end this off here. So, thanks again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys are enjoying all the content on my channel. I try to produce, you know, the I'm, I'm always improving on my editing skills, and I really hope you guys can uh, see that and appreciate that. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Link will be in the description for the awesome, awesome Beale trailer here. We'll uh, weigh ourselves in here. Nope, that's the wrong button. I'm just fucking retarded. 72,241 pounds. But anyway, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.